This is the Itiwit three-person drop stitch inflatable kayak sold by Decathlon, commonly known as the X100. With a much stiffer hull inspired by stand-up paddle boards, this new drop stitch style kayak could actually revolutionise standard inflatable boat design. In this review, I'll be taking a look at it fresh out of the box. We'll see how it performs, how well it's designed and put together, and discussing the right accessories to go with this boat. Some quick specs. It'll set you back about 500 pounds or 460 euros at the time of making this video, which is the spring of 2022. Plus, you'll want to allow about another 100 for all the other bits you'll need to get on the water. The boat is 4.1 meters long. That's about 13 and a half feet. The weight of the pack, not including accessories, is 18 kilograms or 40 pounds, slightly heavier than the X500, though the pack is smaller. Max payload is 245 kilograms or 540 pounds, roughly two adults and a child or dog. There is also a shorter two-person version of this kayak. Uh, it's half a meter shorter with a, you know, a lower max payload. Personally, I think if, if it's just you on your own, uh, you'd be fine with the shorter one. But if you're a couple or a family, then it's worth getting the longer bow and it's not that much more expensive. So you're just gonna get a boat in there. There's, uh, it's not one of these packages where you get a paddle and pump and all, all the bits that you need with it. You need to buy those things separately. Um, I will be having a look at those things, by the way, later in the review, uh, you know, this, the ones that are recommended for this boat. Uh, but for now, let's just uh, unpack the boat and have a look. Everything's kind of uh, strapped together, this, this buckle here. Don't lose these things, very important. So we've got boat. Let's move this out of the way. This to me looks like uh, it's probably the, the floor. Yep, the drop stitch floor. Uh, you can see all these uh, bits of packaging. This is why you want to open it up at home first, because uh, you don't want to go down the beach and end up with all this litter on you. And then, uh, so I think these are the seats. Yep, oops, one, two, three seats. And then, in here, this is the uh, fins, skegs if you like, for the bottom. And there's uh, something else I want to show you at uh, the top of the bag here. So at the, at the top of the, the bag here, there's this little pouch. Inside we've got, so that's a uh, valve repair kit. There's like an adapter for a pump as well. And some spare rubber patches. And of course, uh, manual as well. I think you could utilize that for something else as well. Quite a handy little pocket there. One thing I really like about this bag is printed on the inside, so you can't lose it, are the instructions, how to set it up, how to pack it down, even how to fold it properly. I love this. Okay, now a quick look at uh, the accessories. You know, the other bits you're gonna need to have uh, as well as the boat. Um, sorry if it's a bit noisy, by the way. It's the first day of spring and like every uh, house in the neighborhood has fired up the lawnmower, but I'm gonna crack on anyway. Um, if you're wondering, by the way, why like some other manufacturers like Intex, when you buy an inflatable boat, they, you, they supply everything and all the paddles and that as well. Decathlon don't. I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One, um, it's a bit more efficient with like the supply chain and stuff, but um, they, uh, if there's a product recall, if you've got to send something back, it doesn't quite fit properly or anything like that, instead of sending like the entire lot all back, you know, you can just replace what you need. So, all right, so I'm gonna have a look at the, uh, the paddles first. This is the, um, the two part symmetrical paddle. It's listed on the, uh, on the site. This is 30, 35 pounds, 36 euros. 
Uh, what I like um, about this is this, <laughs> I think this handle is like, it's just so it can hang up in the store, you know, but I actually really like that. It'd be really neat for hanging it up in a garage. Um, this is the pump you need. It's the Itiwit 5.2 litre and it's max 8 PSI, which is more than enough for this boat. You don't want to bother getting anything bigger than that. So um, this one is fine. And then life jacket, absolutely essential every time you go out on the water. This is the 50N life jacket. Um, I think it's like 30 quid, 30, 30 euros roughly. Uh, this also comes in a lovely turquoise color. Like normally these things are always orange and like, you know, if you do, do photography and video, darling, you know, it's not very flattering on the skin tones. So uh, check out the turquoise one if you want, if you're vain like me and like to um, post stuff on Instagram and whatnot. So this will come in like at 85 quid, 85 euros on top of the boat if you're thinking about the budget. Um, you can, I mean, you might already have this sort of stuff already and, or you can, you know, use other branded stuff if you want, if there's something else you've got your eye on. Um, I think it makes sense to use the stuff that's come from the same designers and, you know, price-wise, this is not really any difference, you know, between this and similar products elsewhere. So, right, I think it might be time to uh, see what this boat's like on the water. Setting up and packing down the boat is simple and quick. Just three chambers to inflate, plus however many seats you require. Setup information is printed on the boat as well as on the backpack. It utilises Itiwit's familiar push-button valve system, which are sturdy and reliable. The floor is inflated to 5 psi. The side chambers, which are traditional inflatable pontoons rather than drop stitch, are inflated to 3 psi. There are three fins, or skegs, for tracking and stability that have a reassuring locking system. There is also a handy drain plug on the bottom for emptying out any remaining water pools before packing away the boat. When put together, the boat feels very much like a rib. You know, a rigid hulled inflatable boat. Almost feel like I want to stick an outboard motor on the back and go plowing through the waves. At four metres long, there is plenty of room in this boat for one, two or three crew, or two people and a whole bunch of camping gear and beers. You know, most new inflatable boats you get have that pungent PVC smell. Well, the X100 is like, it's like a bit more subtle, you know? I, I think that speaks uh, to something about the quality of the materials and the glues. Onboard storage and convenience has been very well thought out. From the spray covered bow and stern to the bungee netting and pocket for small items. Storage pouches on the back of each seat are perfect for water bottles, sun cream, and so on, and are of excellent quality. There are even Velcro paddle holders on each side. I would be careful with those on the water though if you don't have a paddle leash. There are also mounting points for Decathlon's premium 30 litre dry bag rucksack. Launching and entering the boat is a dream. That drop stitch floor is stiff as a board, so it's stable and secure. It's a surprisingly comfortable ride. I say surprisingly because I'm more used to low in the water sit-in boats. Previous inflatables I've paddled I found uncomfortable, especially on the abs. 
but the X100 gave me no trouble even after a few hours trying it out. I know that some of my viewers are going to be wondering, you know, how is this suitable for kayak camping and multi-day trips? You know, like you know, the usual sort of stuff I have on my channel, like I've done on the Thames and the Medway and that. And you know what? I think this would be great for that sort of thing. Uh, probably not going to cover as much distance in the same sort of time as a, as a sit-in or a rigid. But for weekends away in the wilderness, you know, having adventures and chucking some camping gear in here, why not? You know, I think uh, I think it'd be great. Tracking, turning and manoeuvring was good. Nothing drastically positive or negative to report on this front. It's an enjoyable boat to paddle. I even managed to pick up quite a bit of speed. Although a boat like this isn't bought with that in mind, it's good to know. One thing I was interested to test was its susceptibility to wind, and luckily I had 25 km an hour winds on test day. Obviously, an inflatable pontoon style boat like this is never going to match sit in or rigid kayaks and canoes for wind resistance, but it was perfectly manageable in the gusts. My drone struggled much more in the wind than the boat. Pub, ooh, I can stop for a pint. So in conclusion, adding the rigidity of a drop stitch floor to a traditional pontoon style inflatable boat uh, is a stroke of genius, I think. I mean, it may even change uh, the way inflatables are designed generally in future. People might begin to expect that. Uh, it's not that much more expensive to go drop stitch. So I, th I think you're gonna have a much more enjoyable experience on the water and it's a bit more sturdy. So I think it is the future for inflatables. I think we're seeing like a, a change of technology. This is quite an expensive boat. So I think even though it is uh, a beginner to intermediate boat, I think the people most likely to buy this would have had something cheaper and more flimsy in the past and are looking for an upgrade. I've really enjoyed trying this boat out. Probably gonna get one, because uh, both the boats that I own are uh, the Island of Jive and the Itiwit X500, and they're both single-seaters, so having someone I can take the boys out would be great, you know. Um, I think this is a good family boat. Um, or, you know, something to just uh, mess about with a mate on the river, you know, on a nice hot summer's day. Speaking of family boats, you know, I think there's just one more test that this review needs. <laughs> All right, boys, you ready to try out this boat? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> sit down, sit down. That's it. Good boy. I like this boat. It's good, isn't it? Smile and wave at the camera. Wave. OK, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. What did you think of the boat then, boys? Uh, yes. Good. It looks fantastic. Fantastic? Yes. <laughs> I love your boat. Like and subscribe. What's that? Um, like and subscribe. Subscri like and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Finally, I just want to say thank you to Decathlon for lending me the stuff to do this review. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video, certainly not paid or anything like that. Uh, they basically saw some of my other videos and got in touch and uh, it's been very supportive and encouraging really. And I appreciate that. I mean, they didn't need to do it. It's not like I'm an influencer. I haven't got loads of Instagram followers or YouTube subscribers or anything like that. Um, so thanks, and I'm going to be doing uh, some more boat reviews from Decathlon, but also for other other brands as well. You know, I've kind of got some Intex boats I'm going to be looking at. And if there's uh, any gear that you guys want to see a review of, let me know in the comments, and um, I'll check it out and see what I can do. All right then, thanks for watching. Cheers.
subscribe. <laughs>